Me nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. How's it going, viewers? Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA Vice City video. This is Auntie Poulette's second mission for Tommy. Probably one of the more frustrating missions in the game. You just gotta keep trying. The way I show you to do it, probably the most effective, but there are other ways to deal with it. This mission is called Bombs Away, and you use a remote-controlled plane. The controls are crappy, and yeah, this is early 2000 video game dynamics and controls that, like I said, are garbage. And I had to do this multiple times to try and even just get it right. So let's get on with Bombs Away. Sorry, I, I must have the wrong address. Well, you might as well come in and rest your souls and have some tea. Do you have something there for me, Tommy? Yeah. This place feels familiar to me. Uh, it's, a, it's a smell from childhood, a deja vu. Now, Tommy, I'm going to whisper a little errand for you. Hear me well, I. You look like someone I... I... Them have fast boats they use to cross the seas with drugs. It is their livelihood. Me nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. Blow the boats to coffin wood. Thanks for the tea. Okay. When you leave Auntie Poulette's house, you run run into this area and pick up this M16. Very nice weapon to have. And then you want to get into this car and go to the van that contains the controls for the RC plane. And it's not too far away. You just drive up over here and drive into this area and you see the van right there. Make sure to park in front of the van, not behind it. Now, the view showed you the layout and how the Cubans are spread out. Once you get the airplane into the air, you don't want to get a lot of altitude. You want to bring it in low, and you got to time the bombing. You can try and dive bomb, but you want to time the bombing just correctly and drop the bombs. Worked out somewhat, I think, here. Let's come around. Yeah, okay, one of the boats is fleeing, so I got to go after that. Got lucky on the fleeing boat, but I couldn't circle around fast enough to get the fleeing car. And this is where things become a pain in the ass because you got to kind of get ahead of the car and drop a bomb and hopefully blow it up. And you can fly around forever. You look on the map, it's just on Prawn Island, but again, the controls on this suck. And yeah, I can't maneuver it fast enough or better enough because there's no L or R that you can press. You just got to use a joystick. And yeah, this stuff gets to be old quickly. This is two minutes of flying around compressed into about 17 seconds. Yeah, when you have to chase someone, it becomes a real pain 
and you bump around, yeah, this sucks. Okay, I've gotten into a position where I can try and overfly the vehicle and drop the bomb. And, okay, I think it worked. Yep, mission passed. So, now Tommy has $2,000 and he can drive home. Like I said, this is a pain in the ass mission. The controls are horrible. But, it's part of the game. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post five video game related videos a week, Monday through Friday, plus some shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.